The wildest teal hunt I've ever been a part of, probably ever will be a part of. <laughs> it was just a ton of teal. It's hard to explain in an interview, but you'll see it on the video. There's just thousands and thousands of teal lighting the decoys. It was pretty cool. Hey, we did it pretty close. I told you it'd be fun in here if a chill got in here, Greg. <laughs> oh man, we're gonna shoot chill tomorrow. I go, it's a chill call. It's Charlie's chill call. <laughs> So we're, we're winding down here. It's the end of the year. Um, last week of season, it had froze. Prior to this, we'd had two big rivers and two big freezes, and uh, this was the last big freeze of the year. So we were generally hunting the afternoons uh, the week prior, and as we were hunting it, we noticed when the ducks would come from the south or real foot, they would pitch on Area 5. We couldn't figure out where these ducks were sitting. We knew there was some open water somewhere because we were watching them come out, you know, when we were killing them. It was one of those things where you had to make the, a decision to go up there in the middle of the night, scare them all out and put an ice eater out and make sure you have open water or just take a risk and hope that them ducks are sitting right in front of that blind. And uh, that's what we did. We, we took the risk and uh, we got there that morning, loaded all our stuff up in hopes that ducks would keep the hole open in front of the blind. Yeah, everything kind of froze up last night. It's been really cold. Nah, nice cold front that came in. That's why it's cold. Um, gonna split up two different groups. Got a little bit of sun, a little bit of wind. Hopefully we wear them out. We get up there around the island and we're like, man, where are these ducks at? We cut, shut the can am off. We can't hear them, can't see them. And all we can hear is just thousands of teal, just, you know, just did it, did it, did it, making their little sounds and, and, and doing what teal do. And we're like, holy cow. We were around the corner there at the island and those headlights turn and start glaring off the ice. And all you see is feathers just scattered all throughout the ice. And uh, <laughs> well, we got ice, but we know we got ducks somewhere close. So. Jerk corner. They're not even loaded up, Grim. Huh? They're still loading their guns. Kill him. Who was that? Reload. 
There is just tens of thousands of teal. And uh, I'm, I'm outside the blind down by the dog box, or down by the dog stand. I've got my, which is Keith Allen's dog, and it's like the first four, five, six days that I've hunted her, and she's pretty charged up. And there's just th hundreds of teal just lighting in the decoys, constant. I can't hardly see them. Yes. They, they're not even loaded. Huh? They're not loaded. Either. Can you guys see them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah we're going to get right in them. If you're on the water, you can start out. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. When I can see them, the guys in the blind can't see them, and vice versa at first light, it's just crazy. Just absolute pandemonium. You just want to watch them? Kill him. Damn. I missed. Teal everywhere. Wild. Should be a good one. Wind in her face, that'd be the only thing that hurts here. What well, would have made it so much prettier if that wind was just a little bit north or a little bit south. Uh, the wind was hitting us right in the face the whole day. and. If you can imagine trying to hit a teal flying 60, 70 mile an hour going away from you is a lot tougher than it looks. Ready, guys. That shooting, Brandon. Wasn't good. It's hard to shoot them when they bank back away from you. First time you've been hunting? No. You just wait. Hey, I'm going to drive fire real quick if it fires. Sounds like, sounds like crickets out there. They're so heavy. Yeah. Should we just mo all move to that damn point? I mean, what? The Jeez, that's bad. Well, you can't shoot them like that. It's almost impossible. Teal going away. Holy shit. You got another gun down there? Yeah, after we shoot. You know, the other groups of hunters were just shooting like crazy because we went right in the middle of the ducks and uh, all hell breaks loose. Kill, shoot, kill, shoot, kill, shoot. Kill. Try moving the decoys, try moving the mojo, and there's just teal lighting everywhere. I'm worried about the dog breaking, which she she held steady. May here. Here. Here, watch the one on the water right there in front. Right here. Shoot it, kill it. Quite a bit of confusion going on, as you can tell. Uh, we had a guy in there that never duck hunted in his life. He probably had no idea what to think. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh my God.
How the f does that happen? You just need to get them a little closer like that. <laughs> yeah. 15 yards. Yeah, they're dead. Everybody was having an absolute blast. It was the wildest teal hunt I've ever been a part of, probably ever will be a part of. It was just a ton of teal. It's hard to explain in an interview, but you'll see it on the video. There's just thousands and thousands of teal lighting the decoys. It was pretty cool. Down there. They had they have no idea what just happened, do <laughs> No. Oh. oh man. Dude, you now you understand why I didn't want to shoot early because I knew you guys couldn't see me either. Yeah. Yeah, they weren't. They weren't. They were right. They weren't. They weren't near as close as we yeah. thought. Look at that oh, ice no, patch. They were, they were 80. I mean, they were probably coming over the mojo, but you had to be a shooter to they be were, here. Yeah, and they had to be ready. Because I was shooting. Like yeah. That, and that, and that, and that. <laughs> Man, what a plot, what a mess we had this morning. Had 10,000 teal in here, and anyhow, they got the lighting and flying around. It was wild. So. Brad was on the opposite end of the blind. I was outside with the dog. A little chaos there for a second. It got chaotic, and uh, Brad couldn't hear me, and I couldn't see him. I couldn't see right here, Taylor. Yeah. From like the end of the decoys to that grass, I couldn't see. So if they were lighting right here, yeah. I couldn't see them. Yeah. And you, I'm the ones Taylor. you could see, no one else could see. No, and then when, and I was trying to, I, when I saw the shot, I could have shot, but like I didn't realize it. That was quick. Well, as you can see, we have a terrible wind. It's supposed to be straight north northwest, but it was an incredible hunt. Clearly, we didn't shoot good, but I'm not sure I've ever seen teal that thick. So, we finished up. It's not even eight o'clock yet. We're gonna let them get back in here. Tonight it's gonna get to 17 degrees, so all these ducks have been sitting right here. So we're gonna let them get back in here and hopefully have a good one tomorrow, so stick with us. Is that your first time? Yeah. <laughs> you got it done pretty Boiled, quick. yeah. A lot of You're good. So everybody knows I've got a sweet spot for teal. I love shooting teal. Um, love hunting teal. Love love watching teal work. It just it's just something different. And um, the night before um, on this day we had some clients that had to leave a day early. So I invited my buddy Joe Weimer from up north, pure Yankee. No modeling here, bud. And uh, he brought his buddy Greg with him. So the night before we're eating dinner, and you know Greg's like, man, I don't want to shoot any teal. I'm like, well. I go, well, I'm just telling you, the teal are going to be super thick in the morning because it, it was warming up drastically. You know, 20 degrees from the day before, 25 degrees, and that morning it was, we get there and it's completely thawed out. The hell hole is always going to be your thickest ice on the farm. Uh, it's just a tight timber hole, never gets a ripple, it's only about knee deep. But for the last several mornings, we, me or Eric or whoever, one of the guides have been running down early in the morning. Uh, trying to bust it out with a boat just to keep it thawed because we knew we'd be hunting this blind sometime that week when, when, the, when the big thaw came. And at daylight, there's just, we're in the hell hole and there's just teal everywhere. Man, you sure think a bunch of them teal come back. Kill them. No way. Right, wait a minute. Clean them up. Clean them up. 
This thing don't pattern worth a fuck. Man, I'm so pissed! I didn't get the fucking call at him. <laughs> and came right, right in, boy. Did some picking, Jack. A lot of shit falling cool there, bud. That's what the fans One. came to see. Here, Tom. Go ahead and get through, bud. You would go from here and get ready to putting your guns out in the window in less than a second. That's how quick these things were coming in here. Pull the trigger. Right AJ, right in front of you. Neither do I. Right in front of you, there's a live one. Oh, he's in the decoy. He's pretty close. Left, left of you. He's got his head up. I did not pull the fucking trigger. I oh, wait, one's coming around. Come around. Oh my gosh, no way. You guys are gonna get to be able to watch me shoot mine. Yeah, I've got so you and I both went over there. Killed two over there. Everybody's walking around in the decoys black duck lit. Brandon got him off his end, so. That's number nine on the year. Uh, it's good, it's almost over. Eight days left. The ice is three inches thick everywhere but here. In blind six and pretty much anywhere that a human didn't keep it open, it's froze. So we're expecting some pretty wild stuff to happen. The pintails are starting. The teal have been really thick. Killed a black duck already. No mallards. Two widgeon, a black duck, and 20 teal so far. So it got real quick. Real, real quick. It got real, real quick. Quit moving. Kill that one. Kill it. Kill it. 
took us about an hour to get our limit, and uh, there was eight of us or nine of us, and uh, boy, the teal were just so strong. But but Greg changed his tune real quick. Uh, the old Yankee Doodle, he uh, let me tell you, his gun was coming up and going bang every time those teal came in too. So it happened. I think the first 20 minutes we had 30 something teal, and then we just decided it was time to. We took a little break and ate breakfast and. Uh, Anyhow, it was done quick, and then on the way back to the lodge, the ducks were just pouring. As we were picking up decoys, the sun came out, of course, and you look up and there's just mallards everywhere. Um, thousands and thousands of ducks coming out of the south. We get back to the lodge and they're just filling it up, just ducks everywhere. Anyhow, it was quick work. Um, the, the, the amount of teal that we seen and shot into that morning was pretty incredible. I love shooting them. Glad my Yankee buddies got to make it down. Um, usually it's just a snow goose hunter too but yeah it was a fun day um, and they got to see why uh, so many times that our stringers are full of teal because most of the times we're just we're just not going to wait on the mallards um, if the teal are coming you get in get out rest your ducks you always got clients the next day so you got to think about more than just the guys you got with you on the on that particular hunt and the teal got to coming in and we got to shooting them and it sure was a blast